Hey, I'm Jerry. I'm back in the 2017 Hyundai Elantra GT this week. I've actually already reviewed this car, I think about six months ago or so. Um, I liked it then, but I got it again this week, and I thought, uh, I thought I'd do a short video, even though I've already reviewed this one in its entirety, just to share some of my favorite things about this vehicle. And so I can do kind of an experimental episode, because I've never actually been face-to-face -face on camera. That's intentional, by the way because I want the focus to be on the car and not on me. But for this one, I thought we'd try something a little bit different. So, my three favorite things about this car. First off, I love the side view mirror. And I know that's a little bit strange, but uh, I like it when the manufacturers go the extra mile and give us a little cutout on the mirror to give us a wider view of the road. I find it really helpful. Ford's doing it a lot, not just Hyundai. Can I get around this truck? Ah. I don't have pep in this vehicle. I also like that this is a hatchback. Those rear seats fold down really easily, and then you're left with quite a big storage area to haul some larger items. I also thought Hyundai did a nice job styling this. It looks, well, it looks pretty cool for a hatchback, at least in my opinion. The last thing I want to mention is that I like how many power ports are up here in the front seat. You actually get two power ports, although you will need an adapter for them. You get a USB port and you get an auxiliary jack, and they're up front in a nice central area next to some storage. Makes it really easy to use. Uh, for a car at this price point, it's kind of rare to see this many ports this accessible, so I like that a lot. One strange thing about this car I didn't want to mention is that the fuel cap is really dirty. I've never seen one this dirty before. It's just coated in mud. Kind of makes me wonder what someone did with this car before I had it. Actually, I don't want to know. And finally, and I hate to end on a negative, but I really want to mention this. Uh, going over any bump in this car is almost painful. There was one. Um, I can feel it like, in my back when I hit these bumps. I don't remember that last time I drove the uh, Elantra GT, but it's definitely apparent in this car. It might, it might be because the wheels are underinflated, or, or maybe the tires are just smaller on this one than my last car. I really don't know. What I can tell you is that the ride is pretty uncomfortable. And as I'm sure you can tell, the cabin noise is not great. This is pretty loud considering I'm only going about 60 miles now. Anyway, that's my short take on the 2017 Elantra GT. I get these cars so often that it's just nice to make a short video and share my experiences with you. I promise I'll have a better car next week. Well, at least I hope I will. And I'll do a full review where we can talk about something a little bit more exciting. Anyway, let me know what you thought of this video. Maybe you don't want to see my ugly mug in future videos. Maybe you do. I'd love to hear from you. I'm always looking for feedback so I can make these a little bit better each time. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to catch you next time.